Are you tired of getting smashed over and over by the same OP meta picks again and again? Yeah, bans exist, but sometimes there's too much to worry about in League. As a top laner, I personally like to ban champs in other roles like Yi or Draven so my team doesn't feed them and make them absolutely impossible to deal with later. Then I make myself responsible for whoever I have to lane against, but when you actually know how to counter it, even the most OP pick can be dealt with. Sometimes you get such a good counter matchup that it actually works in your favor to be against a pick that most people would never consider leaving unbanned. So in this video, we'll be going over the runes, builds and playstyles to effectively deal with some of the strongest, highest pick rate champions in the current meta for each role. That way, you'll have the game knowledge and confidence to deal with these OP picks. But before I do, I just want to take a minute to remind you that while meta videos and other content are a great way to pick up some quick tips, if you're super serious about improving, you should head over to ProGuides.com. Our coaching staff is made up of top level players and they're available 24-7, so it's always a good time to stop by. And for just $7.99 a month, you can take your Pro Guides experience to the next level. Our premium sub gives you access to all of our courses and bootcamp content, and guess what, we'll even throw in a 10% coaching discount. If you're ready to take your gameplay to the next level, trust me it is worth every penny. Now let's get on with it. We'll be starting things out in the top lane with Warwick as a counter to Fiora. Ever since preseason hit, Fiora has easily been considered one of the most OP picks in the game. The combination of Hydra being buffed and Shoujin being added back to the game has been just a bit too much for most champs to handle. But not too much for Warwick, Fiora has always sort of been the poster child of duelists, but really, Warwick is the one true king of extended fights to the death. His passive sustain and ramping damage is too much for even the grand duelist to handle. When 1v1ing Fiora, the only thing you have to worry about is her riposte, but it's pretty easy to deal with it as Warwick since you can reactivate his E early. The guessing game is entirely on her end, so you always have the upper hand. Even if she does manage to guess right, that just means she won't have it up for your ultimate. Now, here's the build you'll want for this matchup. For your runes, run Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind and Revitalize, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force and Armor. For your items, start with Doran's Blade, then build into Blade of the Ruined King. After that, be sure to grab an early Bramble Vest. Next up, you want to get Plated Steelcaps and Divine Sunderer. After that, build into Titanic Hydra and Death Stance, then finish things off by upgrading Bramble to Thornmail. The other top lane counter we'll be looking to counter today is Mordekaiser. It's worth noting that the absolute best counter to him is actually our previous OP pick, Fiora. But since she's banned out in a lot of games, we're going with Olaf. He's the next best pick against Mord. And with his low pick and ban rate, he's super accessible. The thing that makes Mord such an oppressive champion is his ultimate, but with Olaf, you can instantly break out of his ultimate, get your stats back, and pummel him into the ground. He also can't just remove you from team fights like he can with other threats. Now let's look at the build you'll want for this. For your runes, run Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Approach Velocity, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Magic Resist. For your items, start Doran's Blade, then build into Trinity Force, Merc Treads, and Ravenous Hydra. After that, build Death Stance, Spirit Visage, another Maw of Malmordius or Black Cleaver to top it off. Taking a look now at the jungle, we have a counter that a lot of players will probably be thankful for. There's no doubt that Master Yi is one of the most widely despised champions in League. If you don't shut him down early and close the game out fast, he can very quickly take it over with his ridiculous scaling. But with Elise, doing that is pretty easy. Elise is 100% all about winning the early game. You'll look to perma gank while Yi AFK farms and hopefully just snowball your team to a win before he gets the chance to play the game. When you have downtime between ganks, you can also look to invade him and kill him early on. Here's the build for Elise. For your runes, run Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Absolute Focus, and Water Walking, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor. For your items, start with Scorch Claw or Gust Walker, grab an early Dark Seal, then build into Night Harvester and Sork Shoes. Next, upgrade Dark Seal to Magi's, then build Shadow Flame, Void Staff, and Rabadons. 
The other jungler we'll be looking to counter is Udir. Udir is one of the safest blind picks in the game with almost no losing matchups. The only one I feel 100% confident in is Trundle. Early on, Udir is going to beat you in any 1v1 you take against him, so avoid fighting him alone. Just do your best to track him and play around your lanes. If he goes on to build AD, he'll be able to wreck you at all stages of the game. In this case, just stick to grouping up and use your ultimate to let your team melt him in fights. If he goes the AP tanky build, you should be able to handle him 1v1 pretty well after about two items. But the same thing applies in team fights. Ult him to steal all those tank stats and help your team cut him down a lot quicker. Now, the build. For your runes, run Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Approach Velocity, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Health. For your items, grab Scorch Claw or Moss Stomper, then build into Divine Sunderer and Steel Caps. If you're against AD Udir, go Titanic Hydra, Thornmail, and Spirit Visage for team fighting. If you're against AP Tank Udir, go Blade of the Ruin King, Titanic Hydra, then Spirit Visage for a good 1v1 ability against him. Your last item should be a situational one. Now for the mid lane. The first pick we have is Anivia into Zed. Playing into Zed can be tough. A single mistake can often lead to him picking up a kill, and once he gets just one, he usually snowballs that into a lot more. With Anivia, you can actually bully him quite a bit early, since he's not all that scary at that point. You can constantly look to combo him to beat him up. Post 6, since his kill pressure goes up a lot with his ultimate, you change gears. Now you'll just use your ultimate to clear waves, sitting on Q as a defensive cooldown in case he goes in. This completely eliminates any chance he has of snowballing off of you, and since you're shoving him in, also makes it tough for him to roam and get kills elsewhere. Now for the build, for your runes, take Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Presence of Mind, and Coup de Gras, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor. For your items, start with Doran's Ring, buy an early tier, then build into Rod of Ages, Sork Shoes, and Archangel Staff. After that, grab Zhonya's, then work towards Rabadon's and Void Staff. You can buy the Zhonya's before Archangel's if you want extra safety, but it's usually not necessary unless Zed is already strong. Zed is no doubt one of the champions that people hate to play against the most. Pretty much every season since he was put into the game, he's remained a very high ban rate champion, even when assassins are not in the meta. Some people just don't want to deal with him, ever. And that brings us to today's question of the day. What champion do you hate playing against the most? Whether it's because they're OP or you just find them annoying to play against, let us know who you refuse to let through down in the comments section below. Now, let's get back to the video. The other mid lane counter we have for you today is Irelia into Syndra. Syndra can be a really oppressive champion. If you don't shut her down fast, she quickly reaches a point where she one shots most other mid laners on cooldown. You'll take advantage of Irelia's ability to dash in and force fights on Syndra in the early game while she's still weak to snowball ahead of her and keep her down all game long. With options for itemizing into offensive items that also give you MR, and Aurelia's W allowing you to heavily reduce Syndra's ult damage, you should easily be able to handle her at all points in the game. For your runes, you'll want to run Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Overgrowth, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Magic Resist. For your items, start with either Doran's Blade or Shield, Rush Blade of the Ruined King, then grab Merc Treads and Immortal Shield Bow. Your next two items will be Death Stance and Wit's End. The last slot is a flex. Moving things down to the bottom lane, the first pick we have is Twitch into Jin. Jin is a strong lane bully with bursty trades, but he kind of sucks at extended trades, especially in the early game. As Twitch, you can stealth in and force those extended fights non-stop. Once you pull ahead of Jin early, there will never be a chance he catches up to you again. In the mid to late game, you can assassinate him anytime he's out alone, and in team fights, you pump out way more damage than he can. Now for the build. On your runes, take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Taste of Blood, and Treasure Hunter, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor. For items, start with Thorin's Blade, then build your core of Blade of the Ruined King, Berserker's Greaves, and Kraken Slayer. Next, grab Hurricane and Infinity Edge, then finish things off with Lord Dominic's regards. 
The other bot lane champion we'll be looking at countering is Kai'Sa. The best pick for that is Nila. With her, you can abuse Kai'Sa's relatively short range to get up close any time she tries to trade. Once you close the gap, there's really not a lot you can't do. Not even Kai'Sa tops Nila when it comes to extended trades. For your runes, you'll want to take Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Sudden Impact, and Treasure Hunter, with the stat runes being Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor. For your items, start with Doran's Blade, then go into Shield Bow, Berserker's Greaves, and Phantom Dancer. Next, build into Infinity Edge and Bloodthirster, then top things off with an LDR. To round things out with some supports, the first pick we'll be talking about is a counter to Nami. The thing is, out of every champion on this list, Nami is probably the hardest to truly counter. With her being a super strong lane bully and still scaling pretty well, there just aren't very many good answers. The best bet is to just go for hard scaling, and the best support in the game for that at the moment is Sona. Sona gives you some decent sustain to survive her poke early on, and if you can make it to the later parts of the game without being too far behind, you definitely start to do more than her in fights. Your runes here will be Airy, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Presence of Mind, and Tenacity, with the stat runes being Ability Haste, Adaptive Force, and Health. For your items, start with Spell Thief's Edge, Rush Lucidity Boots, then build into either Shirelia's or Moonstone, Archangel Staff, and Staff of Flowing Water. Top it all off with a Wardstone. Finishing off our list, we have Rel as a counter to Blitzcrank. Blitz is definitely up there for supports that players have a mental block against. I feel like half of all Enchanter mains ban him out. But why ban Blitz when you can just let him set you up for free wins instead? It's no understatement to say that Rel is one of the best wombo combo supports in the game, but she isn't always the best at actually engaging. Without Flash, she's really more of a counter-engage champion. But if you're always positioning to eat a Blitz hook, he's solving that problem for you entirely. For your runes, you want to bring Aftershock, Font of Life, Conditioning, Revitalize, Hex Flash, and Cosmic Insight, with the stat runes being Ability Haste, Armor, and Health. For your items, start with Relic Shield, Rush Lucidity Boots, then build into Even Shroud. Next, grab Zeke's Conversions and Knight's Vow. And as with all supports, end your build with Wardstone. And that about wraps things up for our counter picks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can really use at least one of these picks in your games. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to sub to the channel and turn on notifications. You can always be a step ahead of the meta. Remember to let us know what champion you hate playing against down in the comment section below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.